Want to play skipping? No, Sunflower. I have to get back home quickly. I came because I need you to help me with something. How can I help you, Amber? Tomorrow is my sister Judy's birthday, and I want to decorate the house for her. I am planning to put ribbons all over the place. Wow! Ribbons sound so cool. Yes. But I don't have any ribbons. Can you lend me some of your colorful ribbons? Of course you can borrow my ribbons. But do you know the lengths of the ribbons you want to borrow? Oh yes, look. I have made a list of the different ribbons I need. I have also written the lengths. Hmm. Why don't you wait? I will get the ribbons here. Thanks, Sunflower. Wow. You have got so many ribbons and in so many colors. Thanks. I love collecting ribbons. Okay now. Let us start measuring these ribbons. Give me your measuring tape. Oops. I forgot my measuring tape at home. Oh, how will we measure the ribbons now? Don't worry, Amber. We can simply estimate length. What do you mean by estimating length? Estimation of length is like guessing the length of an object. We use estimation to measure the length of an object if we do not have a measuring tape or a scale. But how can we measure length without a measuring tape or a scale? It's very simple. You just need an object Whose length you already know. Hey, this is really confusing, Sunflower. Wait, I will teach you with an example. I know that the length of my skipping rope is two meters. I will use this skipping rope to estimate the length of this piece of red ribbon. The length of the ribbon is almost the same as the length of the skipping rope. So we can estimate that the length of the ribbon is close to two meters. Wow! I can use this piece of red ribbon to decorate the table. Then I will put a mark on the ribbon of two meters on your list. Now we have to use estimation to find a ribbon that has length close to six meters. Let's try this blue ribbon. We will use the same skipping rope of 2 meters to estimate the length of this ribbon. The ribbon is much longer than the rope. So, I will have to use the rope one more time like this. The second skipping rope has almost reached the end of the ribbon. The total length of both the skipping ropes is about 2 meters plus 2 meters or 4 meters. So the length of the blue ribbon is close to 4 meters. I cannot use this rope. Don't worry, Amber. Maybe this will do. Look, the length of this green ribbon is close to 6 meters. So I can tick the 6 meter rope off your list. Now, I need a ribbon of 40 cm to wrap Judy's birthday gift. Hmm. We cannot use the entire skipping rope, but I know that the length of my pencil is 10 cm. We will use it to estimate the length of ribbons in centimeters. Here's a nice pink ribbon you can take to wrap the small gift. Let's see if it fits your requirement. Oh-oh! 
The ribbon almost has the same length as the pencil. So the length of the ribbon is close to 10 cm. We need a longer ribbon. Yes, let me try this pretty yellow ribbon. I will place the pencils again and again till I reach the end of the ribbon. The total length of the pencils is 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Yay! The length of the ribbon is close to 40 centimeters. I have all my ribbons now. I'm glad I could help you, dear. Thanks, Sunflower. Do come to Judy's birthday party tonight. Bye. Bye, Amber. Hey, guys. I need to decorate the house for Judy's party. So, let's quickly go over what we learned today. We can estimate length when we do not have a measuring tool such as a measure tape or a scale available. To estimate length, we need an object whose length is known. We can compare the unknown length of an object with the known standard length of another object. 